<laughs> this is so cool. Oh, am I... Wait, I'm actually, like... Oh, I'm actually, like, driving. Let's see, how do you navigate, huh? Uh... There you go. It's pretty smart. Wait, this looks like the distillery. Um, this X, is that like, get out? So we can take a look around? Yeah, still. This Is this the distillery? White lightning and a copper bottle. <laughs> Some folks have other name for it. What's it taste like? Like a revelation, my friend. Oh, you wouldn't want to drink it at this stage. Not that you could get a hold of any here. That's what the safe is for. Look at the neck. Like a swan's, eh? This design is part of our legacy. The vapor passes up through this neck along just such a contour so as to produce our bourbon signature character. Mr. Bishop always said the shape came to him in a dream. He shot awake the middle of the night and set to work hammering an old tea kettle to match that phantom geometry. Believe what you will. Here, the vapors pass through a coil submerged in cold water and condense. Again, the geometry is very particular. Mr. Bishop arrived by intuition at a series of mathematical relationships between the angles and magnitudes here. Some weird cacophony of ratios. Well... Those principles are lost to history now. Moving along. So, Mr. Bishop created the distillery? Spirit safe. Confidentially, don't let them catch you looking too closely here. Not within our purview. What's it for? Oh, never mind. I guess I said we can look at something else. Sure, plenty else to see. Marvelous engineering, though, isn't it? Connie. Connie, how's your rat? Connie's a great lover of animals. Do you know she's adopted over a dozen pets in the as many... Wait in the as many of the... Wait, what? Do you know she's adopted over a dozen pets in the as many of the last years? I get what that's trying to say, but that just does not parse in my brain. Of course, Steph comes to all things great and small. The distillery found that the remains in, in her makeshift pet cemetery were trespassing on her subterranean property. Our hand was forced. In order to avoid the legal extinguishment of her easement, we were required to file a civil suit. Ever the level head, Connie agreed to a pre-court settlement to pay off her fines by working for us here. What the fuck? Everybody here is obsessed with money and debt and bureaucracy. Coffins? Aging? That's not what the coffins are for, right? Is it, is it aged in coffins? No way. Right? What the hell? Some of them have fires inside of them. Hold on, we gotta stop here. What 
is this? There's someone just like sleeping in that chair over there, just watching him. Just watching some coffins burn. <laughs> what? I guess part of their signature process to produce that signature flavor. Do they get filled here? Those getting filled? Or emptied? Something. I think you can only move so far away from where you park the shuttle. I just want to explore every little inch of this place. I'm so fascinated. It's so cool that the character knows when to turn around to get to the destination. What's this? This doesn't shipping, is it? Oh, warehouse. It is. Feel that draft of warmth? Like a summer breeze. This is the aging warehouse. It's heated artificially. 100%. Draws a lot of electricity to tame this cold, rocky cave, I'll tell you that. Of course, we only have half our aging stock in here at any given time. Most distilleries let their whiskey sit in casks through the cycle of seasons. In summer, the wood expands and the whiskey seeps in, picking up flavor. In winter, the wood contracts and squeezes the whiskey back out. Casks. Like... These... like... These casks? Coffins? Is cask another word for a coffin? Down here, there are no seasons. Each workday proceeds from the last in an unbroken chain of climate control. So, we make our own seasons. Each cask alternates in a weekly cycle, between the cold ground upstairs and this heated warehouse. Barrel dump. Those are barrels? And here's the first moment you could really call it bourbon, the barrel dump. We cut it here with water from the middle of Lake Leff. Has to be right in the middle at the deepest, coldest point. They dive with sealed jugs and only stop to fill them once they've reached total darkness. Pageantry? Ritual? Who can say? Tradition, maybe. That's bizarre. Still wondering about those burning coffins. So I guess these are like before and after. I wonder what they keep the old casks around for. They smell nice for a little while, but it's pretty overpowering. No way around that smell. No way to clean them after the aging process, I mean. It's a one-way street. Looks like that's as far as we can go here. I'm not sure what I imagined happened in the church, but this is certainly not it. Can we go up these stairs by any chance? Please, don't touch a thing. Very sensitive devices. We're not even allowed to run the formula through them. What do they do? Temperatures, pressures, wear, tear, acidity, supply levels, any and all attending numbers in need of crunching. And so on. Am I boring you yet? Are you simply dying of boredom? I myself could discuss this matter past sunrise. 
I don't want to bring up the old computer just in case it like ends this whole thing, so no. Ready to go. Of course, let's move on. More of these old computers. Looks like about the same vintage as that stuff in the cave. Uh oh, we're trapped. <laughs> What's this little screen for? Oh wow, good eye. This is an XY monitor. It's... Uh, they use them in oscilloscopes in arcade games. Uh, or they used to anyway. It's rare stuff. Hey, is this like antiquing with Lysette for you? <laughs> I probably sound kind of ridiculous waxing on about vacuum tubes and oscilloscopes. It's good to have a passion. Yeah. I guess it is. Someday you'll have to tell me what yours is. Danny! How goes the mystery, Danny? Danny's an enigma. He leases an old van from our fleet for some kind of daily art project. Drives out every morning and comes back by evening smelling of propellants. Can't afford the lease in cash, so he pays us with work here. What's this way? Ah, oh, can't go there. I love this place. Okay, so I've been all the way this way, right? Malting and bottling. Whew, look at all this. Labeler, capper, filler, rinser. Uh, so I guess it starts with the rinser. Oh, so that's what's happening here. It's cleaning the bottles. This is where most of our staff ends up. Pretty modern equipment. Oh, absolutely. Top of the line machinery. A dramatic improvement. We used to bottle everything by hand, but these machines are marvelously effective. Made things a bit complicated for the workers. After all, the distillery can't just fire them. How then would they settle their accounts? But there's nowhere else to put them. They keep an eye on things here. Can't be paid as much just to watch, of course. Well, that's progress for you. <laughs> sure. Wait, we can't look at all the other things? Dang it, I didn't really read them all. I remember there's a rinser, there's a labeler over this way. I don't remember what the other ones were. Well, I guess they get filled here, right? Wait, where's this person's interaction thing? Didn't they have an interaction thing? Where'd it go? It was like Cliff or something. Oh. Oh, do I have to degauss to like... Highlight them? This is Cliff, in bottling. Did you know? Well, how could you? Cliff was behind bars not long ago. He placed a desperate advertisement in a local newspaper seeking assistance on his bail. The distillery put up the money, and now he's working it off while his case hovers in bureaucratic limbo. and trucks.
Now, what exactly was it that happened with Harry at the Lower Depths Bar? Something about the distillery coming by? And they had to, like, clear out? I mean, they made it... Harry made it sound to me like it was sort of like a... Almost like a mafia thing, right? Like, they came by to clear him out or something, and they had to, like, kick everybody out of the bar, and... It almost sounds like the distillery was hitting them up for protection money or something. That's what they made it sound like. Okay, so this is back where we started from. Just curious if we can look at this person, just because of how much they look like Conway. Zeke. How'd it go, Zeke? Zeke just did a bit of recruiting. Stopped at a tavern to collect payment and returned with able bodies. <laughs> oh, God. Well, there, there's the visit to the Lower Depths. Yes. I like this ellipses recruiting. Stopped at a tavern to collect payment, returned with able bodies. This is so shady. My god. So, wait a minute. Um, Harry at the bar was left with an IOU because they had more credit than they thought? Like, what is... Wait! Oh my god, when, when Harry said that they had to clear out the bar, I thought they meant, like, tell everybody go home. Did Harry just, like, sell off all the... <laughs> Did Harry just, like, sell off all of the, uh, the patrons? To debt servitude for the distillery? Or something? Like, what the fuck? The hell is wrong with this place? We could park at shipping. Or we could just keep driving. Docks. Well, to make a bourbon, you'll need some water, won't you? Here's where it all comes in. The mundanity of it. Quite an impressive chorus when they all get going like this, though. What river is this? It's an artery of the Echo River. The Echo River is fed from Lake Leth, but you wouldn't recognize a drop of it. Leth is cold, dark, and so very deep. And still. Rumors of Lake Leth's supernatural properties are, I'd say, just a bit exaggerated, but I wouldn't fish on it. Have I mentioned that this game is amazing? There's a little building over there. I want to drive closer to it. Ooh. Headlights. Mess hall. Reuben, Rawl. Reuben here was once a serial entrepreneur. Do you know what that is? He created and sold a bunch of businesses, one after another. Creative bookkeeping caught up with him, and he had to borrow against some empty promises to keep his licenses intact. Now he's here, in shipping. 
Serial entrepreneur. This is Rawl, our young prodigy. Rawl's being groomed for the role of master distiller. The distillery paid tuition for his chemistry degree, and in exchange, he's here serving out an apprenticeship, and shall be for many years, I expect. Serving out an apprenticeship. <laughs> Pamela. This is Pamela. On her dear friend's 40th birthday, she purchased a quarter cask of hard times to celebrate. Unfortunately, her check was misplaced under, del under the delivery driver's seat for a few months and was cashed at an inopportune moment. Naturally, the biggest check first policy incurred significantly elevated overdraft fees and interest. The distillery agreed to front Pam's bill in exchange for a promise of work. <laughs> My god, some of the people are here just for, like, the most petty of reasons. Cafeteria. Can we order something? It may not be a draw on its own, but the food is certainly passable. Most of us never leave the premises anyway. Why not? Well, we strive to avoid unnecessary downtime. Besides, if we're all coming and going three times a day, we'd surely attract the wrong kind of attention. Can't tax what you can't see now. Can't wait. They're worried about being taxed? Or they're worried about not being taxed? I'm not sure how to parse that. Looking sharp, Vincent. Vincent, an avid boatsman, miscalculated wall cabrewing down the echo one afternoon and damaged the distillery's old water pump. Having depleted his modest funds on a canoe full of craft beer, his only option was to pay down the damages working for us here. Heather comes to us from the field of psychotherapy. She used to hit the bars to blow off steam after emotionally draining client sessions, but the remedy outpaced the disease and her tab went to the distillery. Oh, I see you back here. Ah, oh, can't look at him. Evening, Marge. Marge is an avid collector of vinyl records. She borrowed some quick cash from a distillery employee for a rare King Tubby Duplate. Dub, dub plate. Must have been quite a find. Hope the record was worth it. Leah's good people. Used to run a magazine. Paid writers by the word and ended up a few flowery adjectives in the red. Hard times co-signed on a loan for a quarterly digest, but it sank. Doesn't talk much now. Dennis. We love Dennis, truly, but... Then has cost all of us a great deal of time and money, you see. Many years ago, and it continues to sting... His family owned a logging company once. They accidentally floated an uninspected log infested with termites down the river, and it ended up in our yard to spread its pestilence. Ooh, did it infest the casks and... Yeah, because aging, aging alcohol takes a long time. If you were to lose a batch of aging alcohol, that's a lot of money. Devastation. We didn't catch it until the porous casks had already been filled. The Great Warehouse Spillage Disaster, we still call it. Yes. Dennis will be here for a while. We're just lucky he's such an agreeable fellow.
Do you think you could ever live somewhere like this? Hell no. Seems lonely. Yeah, I guess you don't... Where do you live? I stayed in a barn on Lysette's property. Oh, damn. Hey, I was living in my workshop, right? Now that your shop is closing, I guess you're... Yeah, I guess that's me too now. If I can't get my landlord to change the locks back. Just a couple of vagrants, huh? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Oh, starting to see the cave. Uh, these will be stalagmites. Can we go into these buildings? Is this like a... Uh, looks like a sleeping place. I'm not exactly sure what you'd call that. It's not a... Dorm? Quarters? Barracks? Looks like a, like a military barracks, basically. If I'd like to see the accommodations, we supply what bedding we can according to the formula. Wait, I'm sorry, so the formula that Weaver came up with also tells you... bedding? How many people work here? Uh, about 30, 40, something like that. Some of us count for more than others. Myself, I'm focused. Well, shouldn't I be? I've got this figure to pay down. The longer I sleep, the more interest accrues. It's a sin to sleep your freedom away like that. Of course, as a delivery driver, you'd be able to come and go a little. You're timed pretty closely, but you can still roll the window down, maybe glimpse a familiar silhouette on the side of the road as you pass. Someone right over there. Let's see if we can see who they are. Nope. Okay, where are we? Can we go this way? Oh man, sounds like power transformers. Loud buzzing. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what they are. Whoa. That was interesting. It's like our characters couldn't move to the spot, so it just like teleported us after a while. I suppose it all starts here. In a cruel fashion. We had special power transformers installed by Consolidated. I believe we're their biggest subterranean industrial customer in the region. To say nothing of heating the aging warehouse, just think, just think of what it must take to run the lights down here. We work long hours and haven't exactly any windows. Oh, are we back to the beginning? We are. Okay, so we're supposed to go to shipping, right? 